When you're on the field for 91 defensive plays and make all those tackles, do you actually feel it at this point? Oh, yeah. I'm feeling it right now, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Um, but, I mean, my defense put me in positions to make that tackle, you know, when corners take on their blocks and shed them, mm -hmm. and then um, other, like, nickels and star players hit the first player, like even a guard. It's one-on-one -on -one with me, the running back. And on one of those one-on-one -on -one plays, if I recall right, you really got, you popped the running back, but you, you sort of got knocked down yourself. Is that yeah, true? Yes, sir. Um, I mean, I'll, I'm glad, you know, if I get hurt too, I'm, and if I, if I feel it, I know he feels it, so mm -hmm. I'm, fine, I'm fine with that. The dam seemed to kind of break open with turnovers, um, and you talked after week one a lot about how, you know, it just seemed like you guys couldn't get that one takeaway. What is it like? Is it kind of a momentum thing where you, once you get one, the whole defense starts to, you know, respond, or is that not really a, a No, definitely, it's definitely a momentum thing, you know. I mean, just it shows today, you know, got one, and then, four. you know, four happened, you know. Um, it doesn't also, it's momentum for the defense, but also, of course, for the offense, too. They get very pumped out there. I mean, you saw how we had two scores, two touchdowns off of uh, takeaways, so, you know, yeah. You and Dante both had big games, both had picks. Talk about a little bit about the chemistry you guys have developed as safety together and how that played out tonight. Um, I mean, it's a tight net safety room in general. Um, we all just, you know, practice hard in the uh, film room all the time. And so I feel like really if any of us were out there in safety, we could have made those plays. We make plays like the, that at practice. So just practice, practice like you play in a game and that get that happen. Coach Locke said it was, fact that you guys still won today despite all the errors you may have had it says a lot about what this team is capable of. What's kind of your perspective of that as one of your players? Um, we had a lot of penalties, like 15, and that's obviously un unacceptable. But the fact that we were able to um, get a win out of that shows that, man, if we didn't have like any penalties or even less than three, that like what could have happened? Um, you know, it's something that we're going to continue to work on in the future, just like we continue to work on uh, takeaways on the defense side. And so we're going to keep on working on that during practice. So Ruben goes down early in the game. So what can you say about guys and the linebackers like Sprague and uh, Barham, how they were able to step up in this place for the majority of the game? Yeah, I mean, uh, Ruben's a great leader, a great player. And in our in our defense, in our team, is next man up mentality. So uh, Worm, and um, Mod and all them guys, and they knew they had to step up, and that's what they did. They had a great game. So right, next week you yeah. guys begin Big Ten play at the Big House. What's your mindset going up against that Michigan offense? Um, first Big Ten game of the season. Um, we know what we're capable of. We go week by week. You know, we don't really play for our opponent. We play for the standards we have, and that's perfection. So we chase perfection every game and every day of practice, and that's really where our mindset is. When you think about, you talked about the penalties and kind of how messy of a game it was. Is there any silver lining in when you look at those final two defensive drives where you didn't have flags that ended up costing you? Yeah, I mean, it showed, I mean, in clutch moments that we stepped up to the plate and didn't, you know, shoot ourselves in the foot. But like I said, that's 15 is a lot. So we got to figure that out. It was just mentioned those 91 plays that you were on the field for as a defense. But what's that feeling like when you get that last fourth down stop? And you know, you know? It's great because, I mean, on that 91st play, you're still feeling the 91 before that. So once you get that 91st play, you knew that you did it. And, you know, game over, you sealed it. And, I mean, the whole defense felt great. You know, it was a great team win, great defensive win, too. And everyone everyone felt that way. So, yeah. What made Rasheed Rice 